Hello, um, I have this model and due to a lot of circumstances there is a there are some gaps here in the model that I am um, let me see I just want to flip it a bit these if I edit this analysis you will uh, you will see that they sort of come in uh, I want to turn off the construction there. If I edit this, uh, let me see. Uh, you can see that there is like a there's like gaps here, and I want to get those to be solid. But at the same time, if you look at the model there are like ob curved sides here and I don't want to modify them so um, and and these go sort of below the curve so if I try to make like a square to fill them just using a sketch it doesn't really work so well so the question is how can I fill these gaps in here shown in pink without actually um, uh, without actually obstructing the outside. So the way I found this was using the command, uh, combine and cut function, but maybe not in the obvious way. Obvious way. So um, first I go in and I do a sketch on those two areas where I want it to be. And then I do an extrude to both sides. I'm just gonna remove these since they are no longer needed. Let me see. Turn off this section. Uh, so I'll turn off these. I'll delete those. Those are not the ones that could have gone badly. Okay, uh, like this. Now I extrude those in both directions and you get solid blocks like this. Now the thing to remember is that the objects I actually, or the, the spaces I actually want to remove, would actually be created as objects if I do a cut out of these here. So uh, what I do is then I, I go to first this one and do a modify combine, and that is the main. And then I use this one as the cutting tool. And what you can see here inside is that all the objects that I'm sort of cutting out will turn out to be uh, the missing pieces that I want to fill in exactly as much and I don't even need to use the block afterwards. So I use that and I press OK. And then I do the same thing for the other one. Combine, use this as the main one, and then I cut using the original model and again you can see you get a perfect size and you can also see that it the, the model will cut and curve after the original insert so okay so I do that and then I can eliminate everything I do not need so let me see I'll just disappear the main construction and I'll disappear the main case. Now, the objects I need are the tiny, tiny pieces. So let's see, which one are those? That one, that one, not that one, not that one, not that one, that one, that one. And then let's see, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And those are all the gaps I really want to fill in my main model. Remember it's important to not delete the tools otherwise you would delete <laughs> the big model you had. Now what do I do next? Yeah I go in and I say okay I want the main case which is this one. I want that to be the main combination combine. Okay now I just go to join and I select this and I deactivate the visual of the case and 
I'll just set it to cut first so you can see that I'm selecting the correct bodies. Uh, let me see. Uh, it's hard to see which one I need, so I'll just go and, uh, and select one. I want that to be a one. <laughs> two okay it is the ones that is selected but anyway I'll uh, just mark them to be sure three four So, I will uh, again. I will just start a combine, and then I will use join. And the main one is the case I want to fill in the gaps in, and I leave it at join. I select tool bodies, and for tools, basically I select all the ones, and I want them combined in to fill the blank spaces. And when I press OK. can disable all these bodies and you will now see that the main case here if I do an inspection inspection analysis you can see that I have now filled in all the gaps perfectly there is no gaps anymore And that is basically how you can use the combine function with the tools to fill in gaps that you um, cannot really get to otherwise or make any um, designs over to cover just those areas. So this is the way I found was the easiest way to combine to fill the gaps. Okay, thanks for watching.